good for Nelly and then bad for Nelly because he loves his White Sox. I mm. love my White Sox and I hate to mm. see this. So Eloy Jimenez mm. hurt trying to mm. catch a home run torn peck requires surgery. He's out five to six months. Here's Rick Hahn of the Sox. Obviously a, a difficult loss for us. Uh, important part of our offense and uh, one that you know, was a, it's a bit of a shock to the system. Uh, at the same time, uh, if there was one area of this team uh, that perhaps could withstand a, a significant blow, it would arguably be on the offensive side of things and the run scoring side of things. And we obviously move forward with every confidence in this team's offense. Kevin, when people ask me who my favorite player in the game is right now, I say Aloy Jimenez, so I'm in need of a pick-me-up. Can you find any positives to tell me finding out a, a guy who you slot in for 35 dingers easy, he's got that power in the bag, no problem. He's now not going to be here for maybe six months. Yeah, it, it, this is a bummer. I mean, we hate injuries, okay, especially injuries to guys that are going to make their team really, really good. He's definitely a guy that helps this club and put him in the middle of the line and hits a lot of home runs with his presence and his ability to do so. But you know what, Steven, I'm going to tell you this. It's part of this game. It's part of all sports. And this now allows guys to step up. Guys like an Andrew Vaughn, maybe, who's never played outfield. But all of a sudden, he becomes a guy. And maybe he wins the rookie of the year. We'll never know. Eloy, though, this is a guy that loved by his teammates. Funny, goofy, silly, huge power. But there are always opportunities for young guys that we don't know. And Andrew Vaughn, this is time now for him to step up, take advantage of this opportunity. No pressure. It's fun. Do what you do. He's like a miniature hobby Baez in that box. The hands go <laughs> down, the leg kick, Josh Bouncing, whatever you want to say. Yeah. But understand this, Stephen. This is when it's time for guys to step up. And now this is a guy that maybe he can, but it's a bummer. I felt bad for you. I felt bad for Eli. I, I, you know, I don't know why. What happened? It, was it the extra hang? No, man. It's one of those unnecessary things that happen. It's like a fluky. And it's and I feel bad for him because he really takes pride in being a better defender. He hates people talking about him being a DH. And then stuff like this happens right. again. And now the conversations get going. You mentioned Andrew Vaughn. Okay, so this is a top prospect, former top pick. Hasn't played real action since 2019 in the minors. Hasn't seen a ton of minor league pitching. And now you are already expecting him to be a guy who carries the torch as a rookie after 2020 as a DH. And now you're going to throw him into a position he's never played before. And, but in listening to you, it sounds like you have a ton of confidence in that. You're not worried about that. No, I'm not. Because it happened to me personally when Andre Dawson, I grabbed him and said, listen, I never played right field. Tony Perez, John Bowles got fired. Tony Perez went in to be a manager. He said, I want your bat in the lap. Have you ever played the outfield? I said, yes, I've never played the outfield. You go out there and you work your butt off and you figure it out. Figure it out. Andrew, listen, it, he doesn't have to be a gold glove, okay? He's obviously a baseball player. He wears a baseball glove. You're going to go figure out where to position yourself and we're straight up, a little bit deeper. You're going to hit the cutoff, man. You're going to line yourself up with second and first, uh, straight up left field. And you know what? This is what it's about. This is when the staff takes over and, and, and basically develops this confidence that, you know, look, if Andrew's the guy, and we're just saying that, yeah. but it's where you do it. You just do it. You get the job done and you do it. But injuries stink. They stink. Terrible. Now you got to get Eloy back, and hopefully he comes back. It's a long process. And yeah. uh, socks are good, though. I, this, is not, this is not like, oh, my God, he was the only bat in this lineup, and Andrew has to be the only bat. No, they got a ton of guys. They got a batting towel guy. They got an MVP dot guy like in Jose Abreu. So th this is a plenty stuff in your lineup. Yeah, Adam Engel, the other outfielder who's been hurt recently, he's going to be out a couple weeks. They do have Nick Williams. They do have Leary Garcia. They do have Billy Hamilton. Maybe they go out and make a trade. Or maybe, Kev, maybe they just let Louis Robert play two positions because, as we have seen, he is not afraid to come over into Aloy's territory in left field, take away fly balls. Uh, the La Pantera, maybe he can handle it. Maybe he can play both. That's, that's, hey, if there's a guy that can, who he can. I'm going to tell you right now, Robert's special. And so, you know, and this is what it's, it's about. Like, you got to have depth. We talk about the great teams that have depth. Now, obviously, we got one center fielder that can play left field also. But 
they got some depth, brother. So you got you got good right. things ahead of your Chicago White Sox. All right, let's get let's get off the side. I don't we don't need right out the gate people accusing us of being just nope. a, a pure White Sox show. Now we have Red Sox and you, White Sox and me, an 04 champ, and then the 05 champs, Pink Sox. We'll workshop that.